Hey guys, welcome to the second example of the wind loading. Um, we're going to be finding very similar things we did to the previous video, except it's going to be a, bit, a little bit more complicated. Our structure looks like this, just to show you the structure first of all. So we have a lower floor like this with story heights of 4 meters. We have this tower structure with heights of 3 meters. In plan, it looks a bit like this. The outer perimeter is obviously the um, plan of the lower section. And this inner square over here is the perimeter of the tower section. Okay, so that's looking down bird's eye view. Um, now what we're going to be doing just to introduce the problem a bit is over here, this is our criteria. We're going to be finding the design wind speed. We're going to be finding external wind pressures on the windward and leeward wall. We're going to be finding external roof pressures on this top roof over there and this secondary roof over there. And then we're going to do the floor by floor external wind load and we're going to be using the combination factor at this stage over here which we didn't do in the previous video when we were combining the loads. Now, the important thing I'm just going to bring up now is that the main difference between this type of problem and the previous one is that in the previous video, uh, the previous example, we only found the wind height at one, the wind speed, sorry, and the, and the pressure at one height, okay? So we had a section, we had a structure, and we found the design wind speed at the top of all the, the average height of that structure. But for this problem, we're going to be finding wind speeds at different heights, okay? So we're going to be finding the design wind speed at level 1, level 2, 3, 4, 5, and the roof. Now those design wind speeds are all different. So we're going to be using Excel to help us with this problem. Obviously, you don't have that luxury in an exam, but for an assignment, it just saves a bit of time because the formulas you can just drag down. So we'll be, so we'll be seeing that when we get to that stage. Um, the, the, the building's located in Melbourne. The recurrence interval is 1,000 years. The terrain category is 1. The shielding multiplier is 0.95. The topographic multiplier is 1. Uh, the dynamic response factor is 1.05, and the wind is coming from the north, so it's northerly wind. So here's our plan. That's the north direction. So I've drawn in blue the fact that the wind's coming down that way. Okay, it's coming from the north. So it's coming like this. All right. Just in this video.